Hello. Welcome back to the Earthbound Ancient Cave Randomizer. I just finished engaging in some chicken commerce. So I can now afford the Big League Bat, which is a less powerful but more reliable weapon for Ness. I'll probably still hang on to the Casey Bat. So yeah, 134 to 63, which for the point in the game where I where I am, 63 is still really good. Um, at some point, I might find it more worth it to switch to the KC bat, but I don't. I don't know. I don't really anticipate it, but there's no reason I can't hang on to it, so I will. No, I, I don't need the $19. Is there anything else I want? I don't think so. Yeah, it, it would just take way too long to grind for the the money for for the platinum band and that would uh that that would make it much less challenging like i do have an advantage with with the equipment that i have now but i don't want to i don't want to make things too easy on myself i want there to be a little bit of tension uh so the first thing i want to do is head back to the sanctuary location and get a good full heal I did get in a couple encounters uh, while I was doing egg commerce because you kind of have to, to run around for your eggs to hatch and, and I fought a few enemies along the way and uh, I gained a couple levels so I thought it would be nice to just give a general sort of status overview see, see where everyone is. Um, everyone's level 6 except for Monty who only needs uh, 23 for the next level. Um, pretty, uh, pretty balanced uh, hit point gain so far. Um, and magic point gain. Question mark is the only one who's had like a big deviation from sort of the, uh, the st well the leveling curve that that everyone else seems to be on. They all have exactly 45 hit points and uh, everyone has around the same amount of magic. Um, often this can vary wildly. Uh, I've been in situations where Monty just or whatever character was in the second slot just didn't gain hit points. Like they, they gained zero or one per level. So they were still very, uh, very fragile until at some point, uh, I guess the, the leveling curve caught up and they started getting more hit points, but uh, it, it's pretty even so far, which is nice. Also, everyone is it's pretty close to uh, to the next level. So Monty, still, still the same magic, fire, freeze, and shield. Ness has life up and hypnosis, and question mark has same stuff. So haven't really gained much in the way of of additional magic yet, which is okay. We're doing a pretty good job of cl of clobbering enemies. See that crow is afraid of me. Oh, maybe that maybe they're finally scared of me. I don't know. The punks are scared of me. Well, not except for that guy. If one enemy in a group attacks you, even if the others were running away from you, they they will uh, they will swarm you and gang up on you. So let's use fire on the back row here, and just uh, just some basic attacks. <gasps> So yeah, 104 damage from Ness, which is not as impressive as the KC Bat, but still much more than I need. So I think it'll be just fine. And that's two hits in a row. So yeah, I, I don't I don't regret my choice. I, re I remember there was one more way that I didn't really go into some. Ugh. So I'm going to check out that direction real quick 
And if it's if it's a dead end, then I will head back to the campsite. Or maybe even if it's not a dead end. It, it could open up into another huge area with multiple exits that... I don't necessarily want to explore. Oh, everyone is now level 6. Except for Mario, who is level 7. Because Mario is an overachiever. Alright, let's toss that bean croquette. Yeah, you better run from me. You saw what happened to your friends. I ain't afraid of no sharks. That's the name of the gang that, uh, that all the punks are in. Is the sharks. In regular Earthbound, uh, the, the, the punks, the sharks, are confined to the first town, Onet. Uh, but in the randomizer, they're just wherever you happen to start out. No thanks. No SB for me. Unless, of course, the SP sands for strong bad. Can I auto kill this guy or, or will it just swarm me? I might still auto kill them. It did. Hooray! Alright. A pair of dirty socks. So that's a joke item. You get it as a reward for finishing a, a minor quest. Um. I, th I think it's just the same effect as the, the stag beetle. Like, you, you throw it at an enemy, and they have a chance of being stunned for one turn. So, get rid of the socks. I always seem to find the dirty socks very early. Which is weird. Hi, friend. Yeah, Everdread, uh... Hello. <gasps> it's a Mr. Saturn disguised as a star man. So I don't think this is a full revive, but it is, um, you know, the equivalent of resting in an inn for free. So if that wasn't in such an out of the way place, uh, that, that would be a useful thing to remember. I think there might be some more treasure scattered around here somewhere that I'm missing. Good job, Mario. You showed that crow what for. No, that, that might be the... For heck's sake. I don't know why some of the, some of the crows are afraid and some of them charge me. Oh, come on. Thanks, Monty. At least someone around here knows how to swing a frying pan. And it's Monty Mole. I feel the need to relax. Alright, so the campsite was through the hotel. Ah, I tried to run away from that crow, but I, I got I got stuck on the bush. Teddy bear's still hanging in there. This is probably the longest randomizer, uh, the farthest point I've gotten in a randomizer and still had the teddy bear. Of course, that's mostly because my incessant talking is making me play much more slowly, which I apologize for, but 
I assume that's what you're here for. If not, then thanks for giving me a shot. I hope you find something you like watching better. Right, it was through the uh, department store, not the hotel. Did this store go anywhere? Was this was this a dead end, or did I decide to stop? Okay, that was a treasure room. Okay. Honk yourself, buddy. Go honk yourself. I don't need that kind of sass. So this is where you... So, in, in regular Earthbound, this is the part of the game where you give a monkey a piece of bubble gum, and the monkey follows you around, you step on this spot, the Loch Ness Monster shows up, the monkey blows a bubble, and you float over to the Loch Ness Monster. Pretty, pretty typical story beat. Oh, a store, a phone. I can actually save my game. Oh, th this is the store. Uh, so this this is the bubble monkey, in in regular Earthbound, and I think I can get gum from this person. Take the monkey. He's really noisy. If you buy a pack of bubble gum, you can have the monkey for free. Otherwise, he will cost you a buck. So in the randomizer, he doesn't actually follow me, or maybe he does. Maybe I have to talk to him. No. So this person is an ATM. I have 243 in the bank, 258 in my wallet. Okay, let's see what's for sale. Anything good? I could buy another teddy bear. Oh, I did kind of want to buy two hamburgers and go on ahead and open up that that other shortcut just in case I need it later. So, yeah, let's let's, let's do that. Also, the skip sandwich uh, is is a key item for for another one of the the shortcuts, so I'll, I'll buy one of those. And I don't think I need any any of the rest of the stuff. The serum can heal poison, but I already have the heal spell that can do that. Um, everything else is just for recovering hit points. I don't know what the toothbrush does. It, it might be a useless item. Alright, do I have anything I want to sell? Oh, I guess I could sell the yo-yo. Honk. Alright, save my game. Uh, so, uh, this is one of the stores where, or one of the phones, where you call uh, Maxwell instead of Ness's dad. So will this monkey actually follow me? No. That that functionality is disabled in the randomizer. So I will sell the pack of bubble gum because I do not need it. And I will deposit my money. Um, if you get wiped out in battle, you only lose whatever money you have on you. Um, I, I forget if it's half or all of it. Uh, it, might, it might be all of it. But because uh, the money that you get from from killing enemies goes into the bank. Um, it's not that big of a deal as long as you remember. You know, if you take out money, it's a good idea to put it back in. Uh, although sometimes you you can't go a while without finding another ATM. 
um, but it's still worth it in in the randomizer, in my opinion. The, there are a fair number of ATMs scattered around. All right, so I will put in 157. Leave myself 50 bucks just so I have a little walking around money. So, King Banana, uh, another key item for opening up for shortcuts. It's also important for getting the, the teleport ability, which is completely disabled in the randomizer because the way everything is uh, shuffled around, it just it wouldn't make any sense. All right, I'm gonna go give those monkeys a hamburger real quick, just so that just so that shortcut is open. Well, I guess I have the hamburgers now, so if I do encounter that shortcut from the other side, I will still be able to open it. So there's really no no point in going there now. Did I go in all these houses at the top? Right, this was okay. All right, yeah, I, I was going to do the hamburger thing, but there's no reason I need to do that now. I would like to make progress. I would like to find and defeat a boss in this episode. That would that, that would make me feel like I'm making progress. And if the boss is anywhere, I'm thinking it's got to be somewhere around here because all of the other paths have led <clears throat> have led to dead ends. A toothbrush! Great, well now I can find out if the toothbrush does anything without having to buy one. It can be used during battle. Gone after one use. So yeah, th there are some joke items. So this is another shortcut opportunity. If I had a concert ticket, I could give it to this lady and she would step out of the way and, and that door would take me to a different floor of the dungeon. But I do not have a concert ticket. There's another phone. There's the bubble monkey. There's someone. And there's a bunch of mimics. Awesome. <laughs> Separated gunk. Okay, I don't think these enemies will will present me any trouble. Some of the mimic enemies can be pretty nasty. Um, one of them is a cup of, of scalding hot coffee which has an attack that does fire damage to everyone which is nasty a popsicle popsicle sounds pretty good right now actually but i think that's just hit points right yeah about 18 hit points who cares all right, this is the hospital. They have Gal working the counter. Here's Orange Kid wandering around, being a nuisance, I presume. Okay, here is uh, oh, what's this place called? It's where the fourth party member comes from, Kato. Hello. I enjoy treasure. Oh, I think that's better than the ribbon that uh, that Monty has. Yeah, slightly better. 
A slight increase is better than no increase. Jeez, lay out the horn, buddy. It's okay, whoever you are. I forgive you for whatever you did. Oh, sewer. Oh. I don't need a cookie. The sewers are a really annoying location in the randomizer because, like, there's another exit in this room. It's in the water. I mean, it's, it's not an exit because you, you can only, only get here by coming through the water the other direction. But there are a lot of, like, weird multiple exits that, are, that aren't totally obvious in the sewer, which, which can make it really just a pain to navigate. All right, well, it looks like I'm going to... I think I think this place is called... Dalim? Dalim, something like that? Oh, a mouse, eh? All right. I love Sergeant Pepper. The mice can sometimes have a critical attack that can do a significant amount of damage, but I think I'm high enough level that hopefully even that might not be that much of a threat. I mean, except for question mark, who is always going to be in danger, no matter what. Which is just kind, kind of how things go for the fourth party member. Yeah, I know, Dad. Yes, it would be a good idea if I took a break. I'll keep an eye out for bad guys. Bugs? Bugs. Monster Slimer. Well, let's see how they feel about fire. Ow! See, question mark is always in danger. Like, they can wear no armor, so they're pretty much always within a critical hit of death. But luckily, they, they don't get targeted as much as the other party members. I, I think it uses sort of Dragon Quest logic, like Ness is more likely to be targeted than Monty, who is more likely to be targeted than Mario, etc. Oh baby, offense went up by three, and speed. I, I don't know if that's a big enough increase to justify an old baby, an old baby, but uh, I'll take it. Prince question mark. Yeah, there's kind of a lot going on. Totally empty room. Nothing to examine. The reason to be here. Any any big area to explore, you're, you're going to want at least a few dead ends. Okay, I don't know why I got the advantage on that fight. The way that system works can be a, a little weird sometimes. I'll fight you. Armored Antoid. Eh. Let's just attack and see what happens. Oh, th these are weird sound effects. Yeah. Playing music that isn't meant to be played in battle can, can make the sound effects weird and unpredictable. Treasure? No, another way to go. Another rude way to go. Alright, that's that's the clubhouse. I could talk to the guy 
on on the bottom there and get a hat, but I already have a hat. Yeah, it's a little beat up, but that's just because I'm a zombie. I will. Hey, it's another lock. I, I guess it's a little appropriate that, that the prince is a symbol. Okay. Well, these are uh, not a threat, but there's a lot of them, so I'm, I might see how they respond to fire. Critical hit for 10 damage. That's question mark for you. I'm not going to speculate as to what this enemy looks like. Like, I, I'm, I'm sure you've all come to your, your own conclusions. It's fine. <gasps> That's a boss. I get to fight a boss. Right after I fight these bugs. Uh, I'll save my magic. I doubt I'm going to need it. Like, I have, so, I have good enough equipment right now that I might very well defeat the first boss in one hit because it is not going to be difficult. I do like this music. I, I forget which, which track in the game this is where this music plays, but this is from Earthbound. I think all the all the battle music is from Earthbound, and all of the dungeon music is is custom. I think that's how I have it set. Level eight. Oh baby. All right, Psy Laser, just in time for the boss. That's good timing. All right, I want to give question question mark a quick heal. Oops, I should probably go to the Psy menu. Yeah, Monty has no no field magic. It's it's all battle magic. Life up A. All right, is anyone else? Nah, they're just down a couple hit points. All right, boss time. I am over pre preparing for this boss. Um, do not let me get your hopes up. This fight will be underwhelming. Huh. Okay. This might actually be a threat? I don't know. Um, I mean, the sprite is for a much later boss than I was than I was expecting for level one. Um, the background is for the ant boss, which is uh, I, I think the second boss you fight in in regular Earthbound. I don't know. Uh, do I want to use any like? Uh, I don't think I have much in the way of buffs. I do want to spy on this scrumptious dig mole. Um, shoot and yeah. Question mark doesn't have shield. I don't know. Let's try free. See what that does. Okay. Goodbye, teddy bear. You served me well. Okay, freeze doesn't work, but it, it did. Uh, it did solidify him. All right, thirty-nine percent to fire, five percent to freeze, ninety-nine percent to flash. That's expected for a mole. Ninety-nine percent to paralysis, ten percent to hypnosis. 
don't have brain shock. 23 to mirror. Okay. Um, well, let's try hypnosis. And fire. And Mario will attack. And question mark will defend. Because freeze doesn't do anything. Thunder, well, I guess I could try thunder. It's probably not going to hit, but I might as well. Oh! Well, that was a pleasant surprise. I got at least one hit in. Yeah, this boss was, was stronger than I was expecting. Oh boy. I, I forget what the hypnosis percentage was. I felt like it was high, but maybe not. Maybe it was 50%. Also, now I'm thinking maybe I should cast Freeze just so... Just so it's frozen solid and doesn't get a turn. Would that be worth it? It's not guaranteed to proc. No, it didn't. Ow! My Monty hurts. Ugh. Okay. Let's use a Psy Laser. That's all of Ness's hit points. Let's cast another Fire. I could pull out the big bottle rocket, but I feel like I've already done a good bit of damage to this mole. And uh, hopefully Monty will survive long enough for this, uh, this heal spell to go off. Oh! Oh no! Oh, this isn't good! I was way off. I didn't know the first level boss could be this tough. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm out of magic points. Um... I guess I'll I'll use my big bottle rocket because this thing could have a couple hundred more hit points. Who knows? Um, mirror, I do remember that was, that was a twenty three percent chance, and I don't know if I want to lose control of question mark. Also, I, I don't think it would help because it would just be a basic attack, which would be practically no damage. Let's see if I can freeze it again. Oh no. Oh, get the bottle rocket off. Oh, please. Um, drink a bottle of water and get some MP back, I guess. I mean, someone's going to die this round. Oh my god. And it dodged. I did. I will. Thank you for watching. Tune in tomorrow for round two versus the mole. The seed is keeping me on my toes. Goodbye, everyone.